So um, today's lesson is going to be going over game managers and how to manage multi-scene games, how to like move your score from one scene to the next. So I just want to go over quickly how I have set this up. Um, so I have four scenes here. One is the start screen. If you look here, it's just a menu with text and a button. Um, level one is a green button and red button. This will make the score go up. This will make the score go down. Level two looks exactly the same with the added fun of that the buttons move. So it makes it challenging to click on them because we have a progression of difficulty in this game. Um, and the last scene is the end scene, which is you play the game, try again. Uh, so what we want to do is um, first set this up so that we can move between scenes. And um, what's the easiest way to do this? So we saw that you can make a game object that has a uh, um, uh, a function associated with a button that can make it go to the next scene. But we have four scenes here. Do we want to do that four times? Well, um, it starts to feel a little bit repetitive and maybe you start to think about, hey, can I use prefabs for this in some way? Well, yes, you can. So let's get started. Um, so I'm going to open up our start screen and um, what we're going to do is we are going to create a game object that gives us the ability to move between scenes and also carry information in between scenes. This game object is called a singleton and um, so there's only one of them in our game and um, this is how you make one. So I'm going to create an empty game object. I'm going to name this my game manager. And I'm going to put a script on it that is called game management. So the game manager, uh, what we want to do is First, we want to give it a uh, public static name. So we'll call it public static, make sure you spell public correct. Public static game, man, game management, and we'll give it a name, manager. Um, this could be anything, it could be Larry, right? It could be whatever you want it to be. Um, so we're creating a public reference to this script. Um, next, what we want to do is access the awake function. Oops. Awake. And we're going to set up the singleton here. So I'm going to type this out and then we're going to explain it. Should we put this in here? Manager does not equal this. Okay, so what this is doing is when this object comes alive in the first scene, it's going to give it a name and um, it's saying hey does manager exist if it does not exist set manager equal to this script so remember this is just creating the variable it's not assigning its value so we're creating the variable here and it's saying hey if this has not already been assigned assign it to this script and don't destroy this on load so keep this around as we move from scene to scene um, otherwise, if this script comes alive and manager is equal to something other than this script, 
then we will destroy game object, which means destroy this game object, um, like the game object that this script is on, including itself. So what that means is basically this game object comes alive in our first scene, and then it will stick around for as long as we want it. So this is the first step in setting up a game manager. Um, and the way that we put this into our game is by taking our game manager, turning it into a prefab, and then we're going to place a copy of it in every single one of our scenes. So I'm going to save this, going to open up level one, put a game manager in there. Open up level two, put a game manager in there. Open up the end scene, put a game manager in there. So now we have a game manager in every single one of our scenes. This is like just in case we lose our game manager somehow, some kind of data gets lost, who knows, just for safe. But um, what's gonna happen is that that first game manager um, that we put into the start screen, that's gonna be the one that sticks around um, and all the other ones should ideally say, oh, hey, the manager was already created, so I'm just gonna delete myself. Oh, hey, manager's here again, I'm gonna delete myself. And that's how you set it up.